Hi guys, it's Kate, Regional Educator for the Nail Team. Today I'm going to be showing you a glitter fade and using hard gel for my encapsulation. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, I've chosen um, three iridescent multi-mix glitters, all from the Nail Team. I've chosen the Summer Meadows, Sunny Skies and the Beach Party. A green, a yellow and a beautiful orange. And as you can see, they really, really are absolutely stunning there's the yellow just get myself organized make sure my tips secure to my gel stirrer and zoom in so you can see what I'm doing um, I'm going to be using my um, totally crystal clear sorry from NSI and just taking a small amount tapping it into the green summer meadows glitter and tapping it into place. Um, I'm using my, my, my liquid and my powder fairly wet as I want to be able to control the glitter and move it down accordingly. So as you can see I'm pressing it into place and once I'm happy I'm just going to do a little blend. As there is chunky bits in this glitter it's quite hard to get it into place so it does take some working with but you will, will achieve the look. just need to be a bit more thinner towards where the blend is going to be so the next colour can fit in nicely there. And a few more little bits. Just so the green continues into the orange colour so that it's not like a cut off so you haven't got a straight line in theory. Into my orange which is the beach party colour. Absolutely love this colour. Um, and then I'm tapping it up onto an angle into the actual green colour. I want to blend it into the green colour and again at the other end I want to have bits tethering off so I can then blend it into my sunny skies. As you can see it slots in really nice and you can see some orange that is already just tapered off into the, um, the, the summer meadows colour. I'm not wiping and cleaning my brush because I like to have a bit of the different coloured glitters on in the next mix so um, it all blends in together nicely. And just bringing that sunny skies up, up the side and tapping it into place. It's really, really, really shiny. I absolutely love this glitter. It's my favourite. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to let it set. Um, as I will be encapsulating in a hard gel, I don't want to pull the glitter out. I want to make sure it's set into place. So we're just going to give it a few seconds. Keep checking it whilst I'm doing this, I will tidy my desk up as well. <laughs> Make sure it's all patted into place. So I'm using a Perfect Nails Deluxe Gel Brush. It's a beautiful um, gel brush. And also I'm using um, Perfect Nails Platinum Gel, which, um, which is clear. As you can see, I've taken a small amount of gel and I'm using it as a scrubbing layer. You need to make sure you've done this for the, the builder layer to stick to. Um, get rid of any loose bits of glitter that may occur. I'm really, really working it in there as well. And you leave this wet. Take a good size bead of my clear gel. Make sure I've got it all. Place it into place. And then with little circle motions, I tend to work it that way. And move my gel around, making sure all of the glitter is covered. Add more as you need to. So this is my next section. Obviously, I need to add quite a few beads because I'm working on quite a long display tip. Work it back up on itself, make sure it's all levelling out. Make sure every bit of glitter is covered. You don't want to start filing and realise that um, you've gone through your design. It's a bit soul-destroying. And just do the final bit at the end. I'm just checking it from each side now, making sure, moving the gel around, making sure it's pretty level. We can file out any little bits that ne might need filing out. But can you see how super sh sparkly that is? It's absolutely amazing. So I'm placing this into the lamp now. I'm going to give it a full cure of 60 seconds. I'm using the NSI Jewel Lamp. Um, it's LED and UV, so I am giving it 60 seconds. I'm just tidying my desk up and I'll just get the products ready so I can show you exactly what I've used.
and they're all available from www.thenailteam.com. There's a full collection of the iridescent multi-mix as well. Um, I'm not sure, I think, I can't remember how many colours there are, but there is a lot. And that was my clear. And there's my top coat, which is Perfect Nails Flexi Gel. I'll be using NSI Cleanse to remove the um, sticky layer off the gel. I'm just letting it cool down because once it's come out of the lamp, it still has heat generated onto it. So I will, and it'll still be curing. So I'm just letting it cool down and then make sure I really clean off the um, sticky layer. And now for filing, I'll give it a quick file. Nothing major with it being on a display tip, but obviously if you're doing it on your client, you want to make sure that the structure of the nail is done with that builder layer. So you can let them put your apex in as well as covering all your glitter. Um, so that's what you need to make sure you're doing. So I'm just give it a quick file on my display tip, make sure there's no nasty lumps or bumps in there. It's difficult, filing my own fingers. And once I'm happy with this, I'll then remove all my dust and I'll be using my Perfect Nails Flexi Top Gloss, which is an amazing product, also available at the nail team. It does have a sticky layer, but you can use it on um, gel polish, uh, you can use it on top of your hard gel, you can use it on top of your acrylic, so it is a good all-rounder, and it stays super shiny with no yellowing. And just apply that onto there now, a nice coat. And you can actually see there is no filters on this. This is pure sparkle, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to pop that into my um, NSI dual lamp for 30, 60 seconds, sorry. And get my cleanse ready. Same again, once it comes out the lamp, you need to let it cool down. And there's the three glitters, sunny skies, beach party and summer meadows. It's nice because some of my clients are still going on holiday at the moment, so it's still nice to be doing um, holiday colours, even though we're getting into autumn. And there's the finished nail. Give it a quick cleanse and I'll pop it off and you can see the finished result. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day.